Hey guys, what is going on? It is Davidian here with another Minecraft mod install tutorial. Today we are going to be installing the equivalent exchange free for Minecraft 1.5.1. So the first thing I'm going to need you guys to do is click the first link in the description. You will be brought to the Minecraft Forge website. Check out your Minecraft version on uh, in the area that I'm selecting so we're looking for 1.5.1 so pick the most recent version of that and click the universal link it will download Minecraft Forge to your located destination mine is the desktop for convenience and once AdFly has loaded click skip and it will download Forge for you now we can close that and click the second link in my description. You will be brought to the equivalent exchange 3 forum thread. Scroll all the way down, past videos, past installation, to the downloads area. You will see a bit of text that says universal download works for both client and server click the link underneath that this will also direct you to an ad fly web page and after a couple of seconds you can click skip and the mod will download okay so now that that's downloaded you can close the web browser down I have mine already downloaded to the desktop over here okay so first things first guys let's click start type in in the search percent app data percent roaming will appear so click that double click your dot minecraft double click your bin on your minecraft.jar right click it go open with winrar it'll ask you if you want to buy it but no, we'll just close it. Um, inside your minecraft.jar there is a file called the meta inf. You need to delete this in order for the mod to work correctly. So please delete that for me guys. Once you have done that, we'll keep that open. But we will right click on the minecraft forge, which mine is on the desktop. And we will go open with winrar. Close that little buying window right so we need to select all the contents in this uh, dot zip I'm just gonna hold control a to select all and then we just simply drag and drop it into your minecraft dot jar now that that is done close them both down minimize the bin folder uh, just trial run minecraft to see if forge loads it will compile okay so forge is loaded so we'll qu close that down for now open up the bin folder if you've accidentally closed it go percent app data click roam in go dot minecraft because we're going back to the dot minecraft so we click back okay so in your dot minecraft there should be a folder called mods spell m-o-d-s lowercase if you do not have one please create one now so double click mods and this is where we just simply copy and paste or you could move it uh, yeah you move your equivalent exchange universal into your mods and that should be all that is needed in order to do this so we just simply double click minecraft click login and it will load up after compiling forge I'm going to go into creative just to uh, give this a little test see if this works 
any second now it will load okay so we're in press E and using the arrows the top the right arrow if we go across we can see we've got our own equivalent exchange tab and we have equivalent exchange items including some new items also so this is working proof that this is working obviously um, so that is pretty much it that is the equivalent exchange installed for you um, bear in mind guys that this is the equivalent exchange 3 and will not contain I items from the equivalent exchange 2 which you are most familiar with so please don't take this out on me this is a little warning for you guys and please be patient for the future updates okay so if this helped and you thought it was useful uh, please don't forget to rate and subscribe and share this to people that need to know this stuff so stay tuned and i will see you guys very very soon toodles